guys, it's Ramsey from blogtyrant.com here and today I just want to show you a quick little way that you can add social media icons, you know, like Twitter, Facebook and Google Plus to your blog or website. So I'm on my site here and if I scroll down to the end of the article you'll see that one of the places I put these social media icons is at the end. So once somebody has uh, finished reading a post they might want to, you know, tweet it or like it and hopefully that'll spread the word a little bit. So there are a few ways you can do this. You can do it manually or if you use WordPress, you can do it with a plugin. So here we are in the blog tyrant dashboard and if you go over to the side over here, you'll see this little icon of a plug and that goes to plugins. So you go plugins, add new. And this is uh, something maybe that will be interesting for people who don't use WordPress yet to sort of show you how easily it is. But it comes up with this search thing here and then all you need to do is type in social buttons and let's do a quick search so it'll bring up a bunch of them and you'll see here if I just do a gentle scroll there there's quite a few to choose from so what you want to do is you want to find one that's got a good star rating four or five stars and one that's compatible with your current version of WordPress and one that's got a good uh, a lot of good reviews so for example let's try this one lazy social buttons if you go here and you click details, it'll get a, a light box window here that shows you all the details of the plugin. So you can see here there's a yellow warning that says it's not tested with your current version of WordPress. And that might be because uh, WordPress has just updated uh, a new version and you, they might not have had time to, to update it yet. But it might be that the plugin's also be a, been abandoned and you don't want to use any old plugins. But what you can see then is you go up here and you can have a look at screenshots and it sort of shows you how it looks and what you can do with it. And all you need to do once you're happy with it is click install now. Um, so I've already installed one in my blog. So if I go back over here to settings and I'll go to simple social buttons is the one that I've used down the bottom. And you'll see here you get this little page where you can sort of control what they do. So you can select the order uh, in which the buttons appear. Uh, you can select them to appear before or after the content. And this will all depend on your design and what you're trying to achieve with these buttons as well. So that's a really easy way to do it guys. Uh, there are more manual ways to do it, but it's a little bit more difficult and it involves tweaking the code. So I recommend getting your own WordPress blog and uh, installing a plugin. It's a pretty simple way to add those icons to your blog. Hope that helps, catch you later.